Hey guys, I'm back for our uh, part six and hopefully the final part of our uh, motion tracking tutorial. And this time around, we're going to be doing stabilized motion. Um, I was having problems with uh, the footage that I uh, um, originally was going to use, which was you know, used for the first uh, three parts of the tutorial. Uh, but the problem was, as I said before, when I imported the uh, uh, footage from a DVD, it was seriously glitchy and giving me some problems with uh, uh, skipping frames and, and stuff like that. And uh, when I um, brought the footage back in to use it again, it was doing some really seriously screwy stuff. So I had to re-import uh, uh, the footage from the DVD onto my computer again. And uh, doing some screwing around, I finally got some stable, some, uh, stable footage. So, as you can see, we're going to use the same footage that we used from the first three uh, tutorials, and we're going to be doing stabilized motion now. So, uh, first off, you know, uh, let's see here. Okay, yep, I'm in. I'm in the. Sorry, I'm. Can't remember what composition I was in. So, um, sequence two is the, is the original composition, and I pre-composed it, and that's in sequence three. And so, select our layer. Go to there's track motion, stabilized motion. So you want to click on track motion and we're just going to do position and uh, we're going to use the one samurai ninja dude that we used before right here and feature region on his head and the search region that looks alright okay and we're going to analyze forward and got a nice smooth track now the thing with uh, uh, stabilized motion, uh, you actually apply this to the actual footage. So let me show you here. I'll just create a, a new null object, and we'll go up to Edit Target. And when you pull down the menu, the only thing you can select is the Sequence Two. So hit OK, hit OK, and then Apply. Next and Y. There you go. And if we move here, you can see the footage actually moves around. Uh, Ninja Dude's head. Okay, and then we can actually, let's see here, create a solid, okay, let's shrink this down, and move them over here, and let's see here, I honestly can't remember if this is going to work or not, so equip the position oh I think it's the anchor point I'm sorry so let's undo that go to anchor point alt click the stopwatch anchor point to anchor point yeah that's right because it says anchor point right there a uh, stabilized motion deals with anchor point rather than the actual position like it does in regular track motion yeah you see the blue boxes uh, following our Samurai Ninja Dude. Okay, so let's uh, do another one. Drop our Sequence 2 into New Composition. And we're going to select the layer, go to Stabilize Motion. This time we're going to do Rotation. So now we get two tracking points. And for the life of me, I can't remember which Samurai Ninja Dudes that I used before. I think it was the two guys in the front, but I can't remember. Yeah, okay, so we're going to use uh, the two guys in the front here. I think my original footage that I used was a different length, so... Let's set our tracking points here. I desperately want to get this done. You got, you guys don't realize how many times I've done these tutorials over <laughs> and over and over and over because I used to say something wrong or say something stupid or, or uh, you know, uh, get you know, twisted, tongue twisted, and can't figure out what I'm going to say and stuff. Like I've done this tutorial number six over. I think this is my eighth time. So. Uh, yeah. Oh, and things don't work, and like they're supposed to, or just plainly don't work, and you gotta start over again. So, okay. So I got these two tracking points uh, set, and we're only gonna track so far because the one guy goes off the screen. Say about there. So we're gonna trim our uh, work area down, 
and go back to the beginning and we're going to analyze forward oh and a little bit more forward oh that's right because it's analyzing because uh i didn't trim the tracking data down so um it's looking at the original footage which is um undo which is actually eh, uh two seconds and some odd long uh, so I'm going to have to go uh, down into the actual, the actual footage, which is sequence two, and we're going to have to shorten that up a little bit. So when sequence four looks down at sequence two, it sees the footage already trimmed. So, okay, so now we can do the tracking data again. Motion trackers. Okay, so let's go to layer sequence. Okay, now we'll go back to Analyze Forward. There we go, and we got our uh, tracking data. And so we have uh, uh, these... Okay, and we can apply tracking data. So let's see, new null object. And you're actually not going to apply it to the null object. I just want to put it there to, uh, to prove a point that you can only apply uh, stabilized motion to um uh the actual footage that you're using so let's go to edit target and you see the null object is grayed out so that means you can't you can't select it you can only select sequence two hit okay hit apply apply x and y hey right, take a look at our footage here let's scrub the timeline and you can see the footage actually is stable and there's no rotation well there is a little bit but that's because the camera is tilting on oh geez I think it would be the y-axis yeah it would be the y-axis and it's not covering the y-axis it's only covering the that ah, never mind that's you know what I mean uh, let's see here so yeah there we go but the one of the things with this is is that let's uh, create a new solid. Okay. We had two tracking points that were on these two guys here. So track point key point one, track point two. Now if we go into our composition, we can see the anchor point is only on track point one, which is the anchor point is right here. All you have to do if you want to see your anchor point, just click on sequence two or your footage and that little star cross thingy. Um, that is where the anchor point is. Uh, if you want to switch the anchor point, you'd have to make sure your track point one was somewhere else. Or you can just go to um, uh, the pan behind tool up here and just move the anchor point to where you want it to be. Oh, I guess not. I guess it doesn't like it that way. So let me... Oh, that's right. You can't do it because uh, uh, all the keyframes are on the anchor point. So pan behind tool moves the anchor point, but seeing as how there's keyframes on the anchor point, it's not going to work. Uh, so what we'd have to do then is actually pre-compose um, our footage... Oh no, that that won't work. Um, I'm sorry. I've I've actually never used um, uh, uh, the stabilized motion with uh, with the rotation before. So this is kind of yes, it's actually kind of new to me. So, um, um, but uh, let's see here. The blue solid object. Let's open up its anchor point. Uh, I'll click the stopwatch. Pick up to the anchor point, and now let's actually move. Let's see here. Pan behind tool. Move it right there. And now, the blue box is fairly stable. It's it's right on top of the uh, um, oh, what's he called the samurai ninja dude. Okay, so I'm almost out of time, and that's pretty much it. Uh, sorry for taking so long to get this done, guys, but I've been crazy busy. So uh, any questions, give me an email, any more suggestions, and I'll see you later. Time's up. Okay, bye.